Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Beautiful day today, I love it. Blue skies, got some deals cooking. I really like that. So I, from my house, especially considering that my, my buddy from Ohio had a full load on his truck and trailer, I didn't want him to get on the Taconic Parkway again. So I led him out to Route 84. Um, it's about, I don't know, 15 miles, 15 minutes from my house. Um, and on my way there, I ran across a bunch of garage sales. And on Sunday afternoon, the nice thing about where I live, um, people don't do garage sales every day week after week after week. They do a garage sale, they get rid of their stuff, and if they don't get rid of their stuff, they put it by the curb. So if you go to a garage sale on a Sunday afternoon, chances are you're gonna get some unbelievable deals. Like this Fender is from a CR250. He wanted five, he let it go for a buck. This metal shelf, he wanted three, he let it go for a buck. This is one of those crank flashlights and it does a radio thing, um, so it was a buck. Um, I gotta tell you, I love all these talking and hopping things. Um, he was he was a dollar, and what I like about it is, for a dollar, I could give it to some kid and annoy the living heck out of their parents, and that just amuses me to no end. You give that to some two or three year old, four year old, and they're going to keep making it play over and over and over and over again. Meanwhile, I get to go home with a big smile on my face, but who's ever kid I gave it to, they go completely crazy. I gotta love it. Um, this is a batting helmet, but for me, I can put it on and it's fairly snug. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as my GoPro camera or my knockoff GoPro. My, what is it, SL, who made that piece of crap, SLR? Anyway, uh, he wanted to, he gave it to me for a buck. The car antennas were a buck each. I picked up three of them, so three dollars. The two plastic bins were a dollar. And this is an air cleaner assembly, so um, it was a dollar. The sleeping bag was a dollar, or unzipping thing was a buck. The two mooses, my cousin likes moose, and uh, it, it the switch isn't working, or something's on the moose isn't working, but it, those lights light up and this one doesn't do anything but my cousin likes mooses and the lights so those three were a dollar so I love I love the dollar sales when I go to um, I go to garage sales or flea markets or any of that kind of stuff so you know you spend like ten twelve dollars and you end up with this whole mound of stuff to take home I don't know how the weather's changing out by you guys but um, we're supposed to, we might see frost tonight. Tonight might be our first frost. So what is it, the 25th, the 26th? You can see our leaves haven't really changed yet. According to my buddy from Ohio, and he's up by Lake Erie there, Toledo, I think he said. Um, he says they're already to the point where they've had frost more than once. And he indicated that the um, uh, the leaves have not only changed, but a lot of them are gone. So uh, I guess for me, I really haven't seen a lot of winter yet. But for other people, winter is coming on pretty good. Um, I guess good that I haven't got it, but I, I hope you guys are preparing at a quicker rate than I am. I'm still not going fast enough. Um, what else am I up to? I'm supposed to see Musty One this week. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send him home with this horde of chainsaws. He lives up New Hampshire way. 
Um, so anybody who knows him and is cool with him or whatever, if you guys can make a deal with him for chainsaws, once they get up there to him, uh, good, f good for you. Also for Musty One, um, these cans were sent to me. I don't know if there's any, any or all or none of these you want. I was thinking probably the wax the gum out and the um, maybe the lighter fluid I don't know if you're going to want the ortho cans or the other cans they might be um, they might just be getting disposed of in the chemical waste so um, on this thing I have to see my new best friend at, at the steel place I've been doing a lot of thinking about it and I either have to do a, a load of fabbing or I need a I need one more big piece, like four inch piece of um, of box steel. With a four inch piece of box steel, I think I can save myself a whole load of fabricating and um, and do some good work. So there's all of that. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed these videos. Um, sorry, um, I couldn't make a video yesterday. It was my this weekend was my wife's birthday, so we celebrated her birthday, and we went down to New York City and saw a Broadway show, off-Broadway, um, I don't know. Anyway, we saw a, uh, a show known as the Book of Mormon, which was uh, funny. There was some profanity in there, but um, they didn't use the profanity in such a way to be really profane, they used it to be funny, and it was it was uh, it was a, a really cool show. It was it was cool to go down there, New York City. For anybody who's been or anybody who's thinking of going, there's a real energy down there. The people are moving. Everybody's going someplace and and talking and y you know. You see very few people just walking around alone. Everybody is there with somebody, and everybody's got somewhere to go, and there's so much going on. And if you're used to more rural and quiet places, like the solitude of my backyard, New York is not like that. It's busy. It's happening. It's moving. It's um, Which makes when you get home to your quiet place all that much more special. It makes you feel like, wow, I'm home. And though it was fun going to New York for the day, it's good to be home again too. So I, it was. it's a nice contrast that makes you appreciate what you got all the more. You appreciate what there is down there, New York City, but it also makes you appreciate home because it's home. All right, folks, um, and yeah, it's been busy. I did that. I had to deal with um, 2124 um, Reading, Reading 2124, and a bunch of garage sales. So I've been hopping this weekend. It's been busy. Okay, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please, please get out there and enjoy all your days. Make sure you have fun. You don't know how many you're going to get, so use each and every one of them for all they're good for. All right, folks, take care. Bye now.